Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We are in Cloud Craze practicing AVS. So we are going to practice as solutions architect and we are going to analyze network traffic today. So let's see what the problem is. Welcome to the farming cop. We are in a bit of dicey situation and can use your help. Part of our goal is to provide farmers large and small access to our services from all around over the world. To empower them, we are giving them access to Amazon EC2 service, which interacts with ours. Lately though, due to network charges, our bills has been quite higher than expected. Have you used logs to monitor your traffic? Do you know where the traffic is going? Not really. One of the engineers might have caught our web servers thinking in an IP address that didn't make sense. Unfortunately, he hasn't been able to reproduce it. A couple of things might be happening. Most likely, if your security groups are not locked down, your web servers are compromised. Luckily, we can use VPC flow logs to capture the traffic requests going in and out of your VPC. We probably don't need to take your servers offline, but we can block the unwanted traffic flowing to your web server subnet. After that, we can analyze the traffic logs to pinpoint any suspicious activity. That sounds interesting and we are going to try to solve the problem. Accept the challenge. Thanks, can't wait to get this behind us. Let's start. So this is how the architecture will look like. This solution uses network access control list, ACL and security groups to filter network traffic. It uses VPC flow logs to analyze the traffic. So these are two in the in one private virtual private cloud vpc there are two network acls a network acls allows organized traffic inbound or inbound or outbound traffic at the subnet level it provides an optional layer of the security for your vpc so these are the videos we are going to watch a network acl act as a act as a firewall controlling traffic in or and out of one or the more sub or more subnet. Security groups are different. They operate at the instance level. By default, your VPC comes with a modifiable network ACL. The network ACL by, by default allows all inbound and outbound traffic. This is important to remember. In this solution, the subnetwork network ACL rules reject inbound and outbound traffic from a specific IP address because the network A ACL operates at the subnet level. It applies to all instances in the subnet, acting as an additional as an additional layer of defense. It is if the security group's rules are too permissive. So we are going to go to the plan. But before the planning and practicing, we need to watch the video concepts. So let's do that first. We need to learn more about Amazon VPC, and we'll come back. So now, before we practice, we need to say the plan. Practice lab goals. We are going to set up VPC flow logs in an Amazon S3 bucket. Read and analyze flow logs. Create network access control list. Rules to block traffic. And then there will be something that we need to do ourselves. Reject our outbound traffic by using a network ACL. So these are the instruction steps. Uh, lab files. We don't have any lab files for this practice. And we are just going to follow the steps. See the concept. We are going to start the lab first. So before we go to the second step, then open AVS console. We have one and a half hour to finish. So good luck with that. I'm going to take the console out as usual. We are going to open S3. Let's search for S3 and go to buckets. Create a bucket. VPC flow logs. VPC. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is going to be North in Virginia. And then we are going to scroll down. We are going to scroll down on this and create bucket. Now I'm going to select the one that we just created and copy IRN. I'm going to add that to a text editor, just leave it here. Now in the top navigation bar search box type VPC. Let's go to VPC now. Let's go to your VPCs now and select the one with agricultural. 
flow logs create prolog epc flow log accept filter and then create prolog we need to first go to send Amazon EC3 bucket, three bucket, and then take this one at the around here. Now we can create the flow log. It will take five ten minutes to process your logs. To get, so get a cup of coffee and snack. So we need to wait for a while, and we will come back. Now we need to make sure that flow log is captured. It's just under agricultural network analysis and flow logs. We can see that it is created. So let's go to S3 now. S3 buckets. Select buckets. So now we are in S3 and this is our bucket that we just created. Select that one. We need to go to AVS logs, this is the folder, and under the folder we need to have the account account folder. Click on this one, load in objects, let's refresh. It's not showing yet, so we need to wait a little bit more. Okay, now our VPC is ready. We are going to go for flow. Just follow the path until we see the gz files some more okay here we see them now so we are now just going to select one of them and download to save them download started okay let's unzip that we can see the public IP address here. This is what it says. Now we need to go to network ACLs. Here it is, network ACLs. So this one is the agricultural. We need to select this one. Let's click and go to inbound rules from here. Review and then edit inbound rules. We need to add new rule now. It's going to be 10 all traffic. Choose all traffic source type public IP address that you copied earlier and then add 32 to the end. So this will be 32. We are going to deny this one and then save changes. Now, uh, on the selected, we can review the inbound rules. This is showing deny. All traffic deny rules. Okay, this is ready. Under the subnet section here, this is the one we are working on. Agriculture, select this one. Flow logs, create a flow log. This will be my locked flow log. This time, filter the rejected ones. And again, we are going to save it to Amazon S3 bucket. And this is where we have that on the notepad. I'm just going to take this one and put the iron here. And then create flow log. Now we are going to see the flow logs and it will take a while. So we will need to wait. These two are showing now. Because my uh, computer is a little slow, I'm just going to copy these two IDs. First one we created, it's going to be, and the second one I'm going to take the ID from one, and this one is also here. So let's wait for a while now and until the flow log is created. Go to S3 bucket now and S3 and see if the flow is created. EPC Flow logs, AVS logs, 
So now follow up the folder. So this might be the new logs that have been processed. Let's click on this one and download. We need to locate the file names first. This is the first one and this is deny. Okay. Five. Let me see which one is it. This one. Five. F. Are the new ones. Okay. Okay. Now we downloaded the correct one. Let's review the file. IP address, let me see, rejected, all of them shows rejected, I don't know if that's supposed to happen, so let's take that public IP address and pass it here, now we need to go to the LII to complete the solution. So we need, we need the BPC ID. Let me just take the BPC ID here. BPC name or is it BPC ID? This one must be the one. This is the one we were working. Let's select this one. Outbound rules. Edit outbound rules. Add new rule. Let's call it 10. All traffic. This is going to be this type 32 and deny. I need to close that so I can. Let's check now outbound rules. Let's check the validate valid again. Okay, just on time. I wish you good luck. I will see you in my next video. Bye. You had a thin hair. I can compete because you're.